Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to what is going to be Merch Ops Part 6. If you're new around here, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, and of course, leaving the video with a like. So, whilst we go through some of the more recent maps that you'll be more than familiar with, such as Ultra Day, I'm just going to go over what we've still got to catch up on since, well, since I've been pretty busy over the summer. But, most importantly, there has been a lot of new Forge enhancements coming out, so that's something we really need to look at. The plan with that is literally to start going over those as soon as I can, and we'll try and cover each one individually, and especially due to that having been requested really quite a lot. Anyway, as you can see, we are now at Join Dage Recruit, and yes, there is quite a lot of Dage items in this one, and we've actually, to be fair, got quite a few Nation ones to go over as well. You know, a lot of these, like I say, we've been to fairly recently but we have got some older maps coming along fairly soon but they're still worth going to especially if you do want some more legion gear with these ac tags that are attached to pretty much all of the items in the vast majority of these shops you usually can tell when we're at an older shop because well there's not usually ac tagged ones in there they're pretty much all free player and just a mix up of member items a wide variety of helms within this shop if you do fancy going along and checking them out and i would say generally if you've got a few minutes spare it is worth if you just see an item that you do quite fancy, such as the Flaming Skulls, because Flaming Skulls are awesome, why not go along and grab them if you are looking just to play some AQ for a bit? Obviously, there are other games available on the market. Anyway, join Evil War Dage, and we've got some shops here. Now, the Evil War slash the Dage War, in fact, this whole war event came out years and years ago. This must be like... 2015 16 territory i could be totally wrong there but these shops they do actually occasionally chuck random rare items into so it's always worth just keeping an eye on these but again with void high lord and yammy you'll be more than familiar with these maps however we are now very nearly at the end of this one and can move on to our next map once I've shown you this axe all by itself in its lonesome shop. Anyway, over to Inner Shadows and you can speak to Graven. You'll need to hop along a few rooms as you can see. So you will need to obviously complete quest lines for the vast majority of merge shops. But you can see we have got some variants in there. You've got a variant of the Overfiend, a variant of the Archfiend's armor himself. So Nulgath sort of shadow armor. That's quite cool. And yes, you do have the Helm Morph in there as well amongst a variety of other sort of undead ranger gear is how i probably describe it and more skulls because as we said we do love skulls you've got some runic capes if you fancy some of them and just you know a bit of a different shop to what we normally see so i do quite like that one now going back not too long ago but the legion arena gear so again a few years old this and you will need a certain weapon in order to access this shop but you can just go through the quest line as per usual make sure that's in your inventory then you can flick through here you've got some some AC tag gear just in case you want to grab any of it. So this shop at Dark Fortress was actually broken on me. I clicked the merge shop and it just would not open. Long story short, you can get the NPC's armor in there if you do want to grab that one. Next up, let us go along to Dage Fortress this time. And again, more Legion gear, would you believe? And it's all about Cerebus. I think that's how you say it. It's that ginormous hellhound thing in it. But yet again, as you can see, AC tag. So don't worry about your bank space because that will just slot in there next up join collier band we're now heading into a couple different merge shops that have some different gear to what we've seen throughout the rest of the video it all feels very much the stuff that druids would wear now and as you will see in the next shop it literally is that so next up we are going to join dark heart and at dark heart you have just got some free player gear and a couple member items but as you can see you have got some that have the famous stone crusher runes along them and yes in case you're wondering i am still in love with stone crusher class what a beautiful thing that is anyway next up join dark war we are back to the legion gear and as you can see yet again this one is a pretty recent map but it does mean we do have two shops to look at here one is legion one is nation so yes it is double trouble down at this map and that is something that's quite nice because we do have quite a wide variety this is essentially like the updated one they've literally thrown everything from the event into this so you should be able to grab it you've got the really nice day art in here and some of the gear i'm actually really quite a big fan of and i am debating going along and getting that artist stage armor because i just really really like that one that's one of my favorites and i actually forgot to get it back, back along whenever this actually came out but here we've got skew as well you have got some pretty wacky arch fiend gear in here but you do also have a really nice spear right at the bottom that we'll get onto in just a moment obviously you have a wide variety of items as with all these shops lots and lots of weapons lots and lots of helms but that is generally just the way they go i don't really mind it when we have too many weapons it's just when there's a million and one helm variants 
it just seems to bog it down a little bit. Anyway, so you have the double-edged kind of Archfiend Spear, but then you also have the Spear of the Archfiend, which is a really, really nice weapon. It does have quite a lot of farming needed for it, but it's not overly strenuous, so that is something you may want to consider grabbing. And then, of course, you've got plenty of Helm's Armors, as we just saw, and quite a nice animated cape there. If you're interested, there is also that orb pet lurking within the shop. Next up, let's change that theme up, so join Death Pit. Just when you think you've seen the last one, the Drackles reappear, and you have got some worn up big guns here. So if you do fancy looking like a Drackle for a little bit, you have some armors that you can grab from this map. Most of them do require rep, but as you can see, some of them are simply just arena medals. Next up, we are going along and speaking to Dracoth at Join Transformation. I love some of those animations. They look incredibly cool. So definitely worth thinking about and just putting a marker on this particular map and shop if you've yet to go along and grab some of these. And as we say, there's a million and one helms to look at as per always but I don't actually mind these they are pretty big most of them but you do have some of the hoods I personally am more of a fan of the hood kind of gear but I think that just kind of goes better with my general sets because I don't usually go for anything too huge and wacky and finally we are at join deep forest where you can get some polished variants of some of your favorite chaotic weapons anyway guys thank you all very much for watching please do leave this video a like and subscribe because we'll be back for more merge shops really really soon as we try and go through the vast majority of them in the game and of course I'll be back for other content as I said earlier we do need to look at those new enhancements that have been coming out over the last few weeks but until next time have a lovely day and I'll see you all again incredibly soon